Jill Biden spent her morning at a school in Prior Lake, while Donald Trump Jr. spent his afternoon in Duluth. It's clear both candidates want Minnesota's 10 electoral votes. Minnesota is in play. U of M political expert Larry Jacobs closely follows the polling, which largely shows Joe Biden with a single digit advantage. The polls have shown that the lead in Minnesota has narrowed. A Republican hasn't won Minnesota since Nixon in 1972, but Trump lost here by only 44,000 votes in 2016. The growing GOP influence partly traces to a shift in greater Minnesota and especially on the Iron Range. No longer a sure bet for Democratic labor interests. For the Republicans, they have now built up a stronghold in northern Minnesota. For the Democrats, it's the Twin Cities and the suburbs have been trending in their direction. Do you see that gap as widening between rural Minnesota and the cities? There's no doubt that the partisan divide in terms of northern Minnesota and the Twin Cities has grown and continues to grow. Biden and Trump both plan to spend millions in Minnesota, but they're also using events in this state in their national campaigning. At the DNC, Biden referenced George Floyd as a flashpoint for racial injustice. Maybe George Floyd murder was a breaking point. And Trump singled out protests and riots in Minneapolis during his law and order theme at the RNC. There is violence and danger in the streets of many Democrat-run cities throughout America. But the president faces unique challenges as the incumbent. The question is, can he overcome the horrible economy and the coronavirus? And the campaigning isn't over in Minnesota this week. The president's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, will be making an appearance tomorrow night at the Intercontinental Hotel next to the airport. Danny Spiewak, CARE 11 News. We have everything you need to know about this year's election and your voting options. Just text the word vote to 763-797-7215 and we'll send you a link to our voters toolkit. And again, please text that number, don't call.